So this is St George's Hall in Liverpool, a fine Victorian municipal building dating to the 19th century obviously. Uh, St George's Plateau uh, in front of the building opposite is the Empire Theatre and the former North West Hotel directly opposite. Lime Street Station again opposite, a beautiful building and the hall looks down into uh, not particularly pleasant streets at the moment that are being redeveloped. Now while we're looking at uh, the halls because of these particular set of six relief sculptures they're designed by Thomas Sterling Lee uh, and date to an 1882 competition which Mr Lee won. It proved very controversial which we'll come on to the set of six are called the Progress of Justice. Here you see Justice as a young girl, completely naked, completely naked. The second panel, again Justice as a young woman, again naked, nude. And remember this is Victorian times. Well it caused quite a, a stir as we'll come on to. Note very French features and uh, Sterling Lee had actually trained in France and given it was the 1880s perhaps the Art Nouveau influence uh, had some bearing upon his work. This is the third tableau uh, and the fourth tableau and now you'll see that Justice in 3 and 4 are uh, completely clothed, draped, couldn't be more clothed really uh, in complete contrast to panels 1 and 2. And we'll, I'll explain why uh, in a moment. Panel 5 uh, this is called Justice Relieved of Her Sword by Virtue and of Her Scales by Concord. Then again, you'll see um, how the French influence had come to the fore in Sterling Lee's sculpture. Very beautiful faces. This is the sixth panel, my favourite panel actually. Um, very tender, sensitive. It's called Justice Receives the Kiss of Righteousness and the Crown of Immortality. And again, you'll note, of course, that uh, she is clothed. So the story here is that the first two tableaus uh, proved such outrage to public, uh, the public of Liverpool because of uh, Justice being depicted naked um, that uh, an embargo was placed on the final four tableaus and it was only several years later um, that they were th the whole series of six was completed and only on the basis of justice uh, being clothed and in fact the final four were paid for by a private um, benefactor uh, Rathbone who was the uh, chairman of the Walker Art Gallery and he was convinced that in time uh, they would be uh, accepted by the public and of course they have been. A uh, fascinating study of Victorian morals and sensibilities and maybe their hypocrisy too.